When discussing pathways to peace, the conversation often revolves around themes of war and environmental sustainability, but frequently neglects to delve into the deeper origins of discord. However, the concept of Dravidianism delves into the fundamental roots of this dichotomy, addressing its underlying causes. The term Dravidian should be distinguished from Dravidianism. Dravidianism is not a racial concept, rather it offers solutions for synthesizing the various facets of diversity. In the 5th century BC, charioteers from the Sintashta region, who later occupied the Levant and Harappan cities before invading South Asia, referred to the natives of these regions as Dravida. This term was bestowed upon them as an exonym, contrasting them with the Aryans, whom they considered noble. By the 7th century AD, Dravida appeared in Kumarila Bhatta's work, Tantravartika. In the Bible, there is a sarcastic remark questioning Jesus' origin. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? The expression Dravida Sishu, Dravidian child in Sundaria Lahari resonates with this tone. This derogatory term in the 8th century AD later evolved into a source of pride during the linguistic and political movements of the late 19th and early 20th century in the Madras Presidency. The Dravidian movement, which emerged from this sentiment, later evolved into the Justice Party. Committed to social justice, which won the elections in 1920, empowered women by abolishing the oppressive Slave of God system, under which the dancing girls were treated as the brides of the town. Justice Party and championed education and reservations for marginalized communities. The ethos of Dravidianism rests on two foundational pillars. Firstly, glimpses of Dravidian lifestyle are found in ancient Tamil literature, exemplified by the 6th century BC poem Yadum Ure Yavarum Kelir from the Purananuru anthology, which drives home cosmopolitan living and all human beings are kins. Secondly, Tirukural's 972nd couplet, Pirapokum Ella Uyirkum, underscores the equality of all people. Tiruvalluvar's insight into the inherent equality of all individuals at birth finds validation in genetics, as every human carries 46 chromosomes in their body cells. Anthropological genome mapping further reinforces this concept by tracing the origin of all human beings to a single matriarchal genetic haplogroup, known as L0. This substantiates the assertion made in the Purananuru poem that all human beings are relatives. Dravidianism is a transformative governance model. Contrary to misconceptions, Dravidianism doesn't discriminate against any group. Rather, it rejects divisive ideologies like Aryanism. In envisioning a world guided by Dravidian principles, nationalistic fervor would dissipate, paving the way for global harmony and peace. If societies and families worldwide embrace Dravidianism as a core value, a future defined by world citizenship, free from non-violence, is achievable. This video is a production of Dravidianism Revival Center India. Connect with us. Thank you.